What's up guys, Brennan Jay. Today, we're gonna be throwing noodles under the powerhouse dam in search for some giant flathead catfish. Every time we go and visit these catfish, I'm always with Jacobson. And normally we're diving. Oh yeah. And they're crazy big. Oh, that's where we're going right now. Oh, no, 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 yeah. We're going in there on a paddle board. I'll explain <laughs> that later. And we are dropping the noodles to the biggest catfish that no one gets to catch. And there's a lot down there too. I mean, we literally saw probably 20 big as us catfish underneath that dam. So I'm excited to see Brandon get down there and grab them. <laughs> now you might be asking yourself, Brandon Jay, why are you and Jacobson not diving for treasure? Well, that's a great question. I have been out here for six days in Georgia and every single day we either have bad weather or like today we get up super early, we beat the weather, it's nice and beautiful. And then the water rises and if you guys didn't know, the water is controlled by a dam and it was a low water, super nice, you know, we can search around and then it goes high flow and the water just rushes. It's a major whitewater rapid, so you can't dive in that. So Jacob and I had to switch it up. Well, you and, can, but you just might not make it out. Oh yeah, you can dive in it, but you won't be able to dive again in it because you never made it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to switch it up and I've always been fascinated with these catfish. We dove in there before, but no fishermen can get to them. So today we've come up with a plan to catch the Mondo. Watch your stuff from Nevada, bro. Thank you, bro, thank you. All the way from Nevada. What happened? Oh, I thought he said, I like your stuff from Nevada. I was like, what'd you do in the back? Bad. No, the best part is he doesn't even know you're on the boat. Scuba. I'm Jake. I'm Scuba Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm noodling Jake. Oh, forget Scuba Jake, Noodle Jake. Noodle Jake. Could be a different type of screen name if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Since I'm Noodle Jake, let me tell you a little bit about my noodling history. Yeah, I've never really noodles, been, boy. boy. Show me the noodles, boy. Show me the noodles. I can't take credit. Brandon did all this. This is something that's always been on my bucket list, and I think we're gonna pull it off today. Take a look at the view behind me. You just have massive buildings, and underneath, right over there, there's a honey hole that no one knows about. Well, Brandon. they're about to know about they're it. They're about bro. to know about it now. All these catfish, boy, they were saved. <laughs> Not they're today. They're gonna have to be brave though to go in there because I'm. I don't think anyone else will. And look at this. This is crazy looking. So freaking cool. Another little spot there. But the catfish are in the mega hole. So Jake, you think this is gonna work? Oh yeah, no, I do. I think you're gonna be amazing. Now I think you can inflate this while it's in the water. Yeah, I could be wrong. It starts to run away. Please grab it. You got this? You're the man, Noodle Jake. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna be a little nervous now. Oh, there is another. What's up? Oh, God, oh, thank dang. You. <laughs> thank you, bro. All right. That one Good. <laughs> I don't think this one needs the live well, but we'll toss them in there. Incredible. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> These things are so spiky. I didn't want to just catch it with my hand. All right. I think we should do the live bait first, Jacob. You go for it. I think so. I think we do the live bait first. This isn't the most stable right here, buddy. They're bending, I think, in the middle. This is as much as we could get it. This is as much as we could get it inflated. Look at this. This is not good. It's not optimal right here. This is what it's going to be. Double bluegill. We've got the weight, and then we've got the line. The only thing I'm worried about is this cord could easily get cut on some of that metal down there. Put these guys in. Oh, boy. Put me right into the rocks. Oh! Jacob! Oh! No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Everything's going wrong, Jake! Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, it's just sending me into it, too. All right, bro, we're going in. I got those two bluegill you gave me. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good, man. Oh, my bluegill. Get back in the water. The catfish are, like, back in between these pipes, but as you can probably tell, it's a bunch of metal all rusted and crazy. But I'm going to put the noodles way back there. Catfish city we're entering here. God, it's always so sketch coming back here. All right. I think I'm gonna just drop one here. So this one is in. All right, noodle one is in. My noodle's back there. You can see it. I 
Ladies and gentlemen, taking a quick break from the river to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Decked. You guys know if you watch the channel, I've been with Decked for, oh my gosh, probably a year now or two, but I'm partnering with Decked for their ultimate tailgate giveaway just in time for football season. Decked wants to help you have the ultimate tailgate and one lucky winner is going to get a Decked product of their choice, a Yeti 45 hard cooler, a Traeger Ranger wood pallet grill, and a $500 gas card. It's the Decked ultimate tailgate giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you've watched my channel, you should know exactly what the decked drawer system is and if you don't it's the ultimate truck storage solution for the everyday adventurer or just you know some random scuba diver that makes videos on the internet <laughs> Honestly, though, these things are amazing. They have a 200 pound capacity for each full length bed drawer, which is also waist high. I will say this, I push that limit all the time, so you're, you're low key good, I promise. It also has a 2000 pound payload capacity on top, so if you got a four wheeler, you can do that. If you don't got a topper like me, don't worry because the rain and elements are not gonna destroy all your personal belongings inside those drawers because this thing is weatherproof. Rain, sleet, snow, Whatever other elements exist near you, your goods are gonna be good, which is good. Security is a big thing too. Once you close this tailgate, the deck drawer system cannot physically be removed. The best part is deck is made 100% in the USA. It's backed by a lifetime no hassle warranty with a second to none customer service team ready to answer all of your questions. So if you guys want one for yourself, go to deck.com slash Brandon for a chance to win the end of summer giveaway. There's a bunch of great things and their products are great as well. Be the ultimate tailgater at the next game and check my link in the description below. All right, it is the next day and I am not even gonna lie to you, this trip, my, I've been in Columbus for like six days. You guys know I bought a house like over in Tampa, Florida, but this has been the hardest filming I've ever done in Columbus. Normally I come to Columbus, knock out a ton of content with the boys for you guys. And normally it's super freaking dialed, super set up, super easy, but Recently, it's been very hard because either the water rises and kind of blows out the treasure or the weather is a problem. So we actually transitioned to do this catfish video because we, we thought that would be easy, but it has not been easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch up from the catfish video, even though that's what you guys are here to see. And we are going to do a dive in cut bait. Now cut bait's really cool because it has big catfish just like the ones we're trying to catch with the noodles and they're super deep but there's also a bunch of treasure there which is super cool and I may or may not try to mess with the fishermen. We'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, well, that is it. We started out trying for catfish, did not work. Actually tried it again, it did not work. It's not even worth showing you the footage because the same as the first time, didn't get one. I had one back there that bit off a leader that had a bluegill on it. Um, but then we went diving, obviously. We found some cool stuff. There's some big kitty cats over there, which was super fun. Got to fight a catfisherman, absolute highlight of my day. But I don't know, normally I would scrap a video like this because we didn't really mission accomplish it, but I don't know, I just feel like it's worth showing. There's a lot of funny stuff. It's super interesting that there's big catfish back here. I don't know, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry, I will be better. And I will be back to do this again. I know those catfish are in there and it's only a matter of time. So we didn't get lucky this time, but we will definitely try it again, especially if you guys wanna see it. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a weird one, but I do think it's worth watching and uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Give us some ideas of what we should do next out here. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Love you.